Alright. We got a 1962 Cruise Amatic restoration. Some 100% rebuilt with all new parts inside, all new bushings, all new everything. It's been cosmetically restored, correct in every way. This is the pile of parts that came out of it. Everything you see on this board, this cardboard here, was changed with new inside the transmission. All been adjustable, no. All right, and on top of all that, we also did a modification to it to where we used an original shift kit. And in this shift kit, we made modifications to it and used pieces out of it. And also, the shift kit said use the modulator with the blue stripe, number 21992. And of course, that is the modulator that is on the transmission. The correct blue stripe modulator. It's kind of hard to see the blue stripe because it's... It's all. It's, it's probably on the back side. But now it was around the front of here, but it's worn. We've done touched it to where it's worn off a little bit of blue stripe that's on it. But who, uh, who built the converter? The converter for it has been custom built by Broader Performance in Texas. Uh, the converter's been split open, installing. It's been changed. To 2200 to match the roller K kit that goes in it. There's the converter right there. So it is an original Cruisomatic converter that's been split open and it, the stall inside's been changed and it's been welded back up and pressure tested to make sure that it's right. So uh, as far as what made this transmission look so good was using the correct shades of metal and the correct textures and cleaning the parts meticulously in every way. And of course in the end that's what you get. But that's uh, that's the kind of work Fins to Feathers restoration does. What? Block down?